This is the second lecture for uh, Pharmacy PHA 421. Um, the first lecture discussed experimental design. In this one, we're going to talk about non-experimental designs or what also are known as observational designs. First, a view of a few words that um, we have introduced previously and we're going to utilize again this time, uh, such as variables in uh, data. So what do we mean by variable and what do we mean by data? Think about yourself as doing research and you're collecting information. The way you're going typically to collect information is to ask questions. So your participants may be asked how old they are, uh, what's their educational level, um, what kind of uh, disease they suffer from, what medication are they taking, and basically, every time you ask a question, you're going to receive an answer. For example, your participant could be aged uh, 49. They could be suffering from hypertension, and they can be taking um, a medication for hypertension, etc. Therefore, um, what we, the, the way we refer to every question you ask as a variable, and the answer you receive is a data point. Therefore, you have uh, variables and data. Two major variables uh, are important, dependent variable and independent variable. The dependent variable being the outcome variable and the independent variable being your exposure. Uh, so for example, if you are trying to see if there is a relationship between taking a certain medication and suffering from, let's say, a uh, period of uh, weakness, then your exposure variable, your independent variable is whether or not they're taking medication and your outcome variable, your dependent variable, is suffering from weakness. So this is why we, we start with these uh, general uh, slides about what are variables and uh, the relationship between the types of variables and the types of data that you get. And also we discuss the different type of variables. Yali, we just discussed independent, dependent, etc. Now for dependent variable, we um, talk a little bit about the difference between what is a primary endpoint and what is a secondary endpoint. And basically both of them are outcome variables or dependent variables, but we differentiate between, between, between the two due to the fact that one of them is actually the one that you are interested the most in and you want to work with and you want to focus on. Therefore, uh, your primary endpoint is how you going to calculate your sample size needed. So your study will have sufficient power to be able to address the uh, primary endpoint. You might be interested in looking at other endpoints, but you might not necessarily have enough sample size or enough power to detect the effect on the secondary endpoint. Okay, now a third type of variable that we will not discuss at this time point is a confounding variable. And therefore, it's a variable that is neither dependent nor outcome, but it might confound the relationship between the two. And we will address that in a later lecture. Okay, so now that we have uh, finished talking about the variables, let's talk a little bit about the non-experimental design or the observational design. What are they and um, how can we try to figure out which type of design we're dealing with? Well, first of all, to be able to differentiate between experimental and non-experimental, obviously the most important key here issue is the fact that if there is no manipulation, no intervention, no experimentation, quote unquote, then the study becomes observational. All you're doing is you're observing people and how they are going about taking their medication, um, living their life, so they might have different lifestyles, etc. And therefore, you're not, you, the study is not deciding who's getting drug A versus drug B, whereas uh, people by themselves, they go to their physicians and some physicians prescribe drug A, some physicians prescribe drug B. And you can still look at the A versus B, but since it's not the study that is deciding who gets what, rather it's what is happening in the real life, it becomes observational study. All right, so uh, why do we need experiment, non-experimental design? Non-experimental design are um, actually very important. There are many issues, many questions that cannot be addressed using experimental designs either because it's not feasible or not practical or uh, not ethical. Therefore, you want to know if there is an association between, let's say, smoking and uh, joint pain. 
the experimental design would require that you decide who gets to smoke and who doesn't get to smoke. Obviously, this is not ethical to do, not to mention maybe it's not practical.